Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Learn This Deck with our Dreaming Way Tarot. And the card that we're going to look at today is the Hanged Man card. So, this card actually is the original reverse card, right? I mean, if you ever give a pack of your, of your cards to someone who's never really uh, held a pack of tarot cards before and they start going through your cards and like hmm interesting pictures and then they come upon the hangman card instinctively they turn it up upside down and then they realize oops the card was reversed to begin with isn't it this is the this is what i did when i first saw the hangman card my first take all those years ago the right to it right and I, I i've seen this happen with other people as well so I, I i think that's something really special about the hangman card is like if he's hanging upside down that's what he does but then the instinct is to make him upright but hey upside down is his upright <laughs> now that's something all right so let's start with the card story nothing much going on really in the environment clear skies as usual so let's go with the person and Yes, he's hanging upside down. His feet are tied to the tree and his hands are behind his back. We don't know if they're tied. We don't know if he's just holding them there. So there's something hidden there for certain. That's always been the feeling I keep getting that he's maybe holding something in his hand and he's hiding it. Okay. Another funny thing I noticed and I don't know if you guys noticed it is those clothes hangers that are hanging on that tree along with him. The symbolism of clothes hangers however has eluded me so if any of you can maybe add something you know like what, what do you think the whole symbolic meaning of those clothes hangers could be um, feel free to tag me and to comment on the video you know whenever if let's say you're posting your photos online tag me and, and, and let me know what, what what do you think the clothes hangers are all about but the other symbols here are the tree which traditionally is all about the tau cross because that's you know they, they form a t uh, between them the tree and the hanged man guy um the other symbol here, of course, clothes hangers notwithstanding, is the smile on his face. He, he's not necessarily laughing, but he's not like in an. He doesn't look very uncomfortable. He looks pretty comfortable where he's at, hanging upside down. So that's something worth noticing. And of course, his hands, which are behind his back. So, what does the LWB have to say? Now, here are the things from the LWB write-up that sort of stood out for me. Consider the reason why he is hanging there, okay? Uh, according to the uh, deck creator, there are benefits to his position. And he goes on to say the first one is halting because by halting, he, this person is able to observe what's going on in the world. Then second benefit is that he's upside down. So now he sees new things, which he otherwise probably wouldn't have seen. And the third is thinking because now he has to sit and I mean or I would say hang and figure out what he's observed and what new things he's seen and make sense of it all. So that le leads to contemplation. Okay. So with all of all of that in mind, here are my keywords. Upright. This card is all about stopping and smelling the roses. Okay. It's like you take a break, take a breather, step back, look you here and now and just be here now that's all. that's the whole feeling with the hangman card the second sort of uh, key phrase that came to mind was change your point of view right by hanging upside down you are seeing things differently you're seeing maybe a different perspective a different point of view of things that's the whole symbolism of it right seeing it from a different point of view and so that leads to the third bit which is deeper understanding due to pausing because he stepped back because he's like away and maybe detached from everything that's going on and because he's seeing things from a different perspective this person 
has now gained a deeper understanding of the things that are going on around him. Okay, that's cool. But now, what happens when we take the hanged man and we turn him around, make him a reverse? Oh boy. Now this is the reverse card being reversed and now you can see the expression on his face a little bit more clearly. He is uh now in a position to do something to take action you know now i can really i i'm focused on those hands behind his back like what's he holding there you know I, i'm super curious right and upside down or reversed he is sadly unable to see things from a different perspective now because he is well, not hanging upside down so it is very likely that he can arrive at hasty conclusions okay so these were the things that sort of popped in my head as in terms of keywords or key phrases when i was looking at this hanged man card in the reverse so what was my card story naturally i put myself in the position of the hanged man and that's how it starts he's laughing and he says or rather i I'm there. So anyway, you, you get the drift. <clears throat> the story is, everyone thinks I'm being silly or even stupid as I hang here upside down. Let them. I don't much care for that. They don't see what I'm seeing. They won't understand what I'm experiencing right now. Sometimes you need to stop and step away from the madness, even if for a little bit, and then see things from a different perspective. That's when you learn what is truly going on okay so the whole point of this hanged man was that he has detached himself from the what he calls the madness or i would say the rat race and for that moment because of his detachment because he's hanging upside down seeing things from a different point of view he is really seeing what's going on so that's an interesting perspective from the hanged man so what were your keywords? What were your journal entries? Feel free to share them on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, and use the hashtags learn this deck and you know, hashtag for the hanged man, the dreaming way tarot, and even tarotically speaking. By using those hashtags, we can search for each other, we can find each other, and we can like each other's stuff and all of that good stuff, social media stuff, right? And but the point being, we can learn this deck together, okay? So, I will see you again tomorrow with a brand new video. With card number 13, the death card. Ooh. <laughs> and we will talk again tomorrow. Meanwhile, stay good and learn this deck. Bye now.